Hello everybody, this is Miguel Rodriguez. I'm here to tell you about the Port of Wainimi's theory of change. The Port of Wainimi is working to create family sustaining jobs and opportunities that lead to equity and social change. Everyone is familiar with the analogy of the baseball game. Usually, everyone focuses on the first three squares, reality, equality, and equity. At the Port of Wainimi, we dare to complete the sequence by adding what is often left out and most important. As we can see, reality depicts one person with most of the boxes, and one person with one box, and one person literally in the hole. When we redistribute the boxes equally, two kids can see, and the third person is still unable to appreciate the game. We get closer to social equity when we are able to redistribute the boxes so that those that need them the most can utilize them as resources to be able to step up and see the game. One thing is important to note, there is still a fence keeping them from being in the game. Even if we are able to remove the fence and do away with the boxes, the kids are still outside of the game. At the port, we understand that we have to continue filling in these boxes by addressing the reason why there are boxes to begin with. We have to address the reality that the issue is not the boxes, rather the fact that the kids don't have a ticket, that we don't know if their parents are too busy working multiple jobs, or perhaps the kids just don't have a family. Additionally, even with a ticket and a uniform, the kids may not be successful at being involved in the game, for they might not know the rules. It is when we are able to teach them the rules that they are able to call the fouls, set the pace, and be perceived as equals. This is called self-determination. However, the final depiction is power. That is when the kids have the ability to play without financial obstacles or physical barriers and are able to compete in this game called life.